Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Atherns recently released another run of the SD60M with some updated features, so we'll take a look at what you get in the box with just one of these because they're both pretty much the same, minus road number. We'll see what you get in the box next. Okay, so I'll we'll zoom out so you can see the unboxing cardboard sleeve no problem there Tsunami 2 and Genesis manual with over 18 pages exploded parts diagram Ather news flyer tucked away in there parts diagram for you that don't know helps you correlate missing parts to a number so you can call Atherin parts and get said part. Plastic blister with sleeve. And out we go with the latest 60M. Going to remove these handrail protectors and we'll get a closer look and reset. All right, so here's the 60M. Got the teardrop windshield there with uh, windshield wipers. Looks like I might be missing one, so I'll have to correlate the parts and do what I was just telling you guys about the parts and order one. But as you zoom in, this is an older tooling, so nothing's really changed on the tooling. Tooling kind of... Um, has been the same but you've got the updated PTC antenna ditch lights below the anti-climber you can see there silver tipped accessory hoses brake line hose McHenry coupler window sunshade jacking pad all the truck detail including rolling bearing caps on these and looks like that one might be trying to work its way out so uh, just keep an eye on those sometimes they try to move on you because they are a moving part so I believe that's called the blower cabinet I knew at one time dynamic brake fan and uh, air vent UP flag Blower housing, that's what that is. Took me a second. There's the horn, exhaust, radiator fans, and the grills for the radiator. Building America and the UP shield are legible. Here's a real close look at the detail. There's even writing on the uh, yellow sill there. And I believe these trucks are stamped as well, which is a interesting feature. You see the MD stamp right there. So that's pretty neat as well. Okay, extreme close-up. We're going to get it back out here. And we go to the back. More action. You get the yellow sill post FRA 2006 where everything had to be reflective. It's not actually reflective, but it represents the reflective sill brake wheel back here and more of the same that we talked about some fuel tank detail as well and back to the front now the snow plow has the windows for the hoses and the grab irons and there's a coupler cut lever trucked away back there so there you have a 360 of the SD60 M now the way Atherin works is as soon as I set this down it's gonna fire up so I'll try to have you catch that. Sorry, that was me. I am putting in a position here to go over some sounds. So we'll just go over a few here. One's bell. Two's horn. Three's 
two. Three short horn. Four is dynamic brake fans. If you have to move to here. Hear the whine of those a bit. And five is some extra lighting functions, which is uh, ditch lights in this case. And so is six. Eight is mute. And brings it back, and there's many, many other functions here. All right, let's get to moving this. Here's one speed step. I'm gonna put the Accu track on the pretty smooth at one speed step. Let's see what the Accu track has to say about it. Point one, so about double what the scale mile an hour is supposed to be on speed step one, but you can change that with CVs. Sometimes companies want you to have a smooth experience, and they will do so by increasing that speed a little bit, which is fine. It's all changeable with CVs, configuration variables. Now, one thing to note is a uh, I know there are some comments from modelers that the cab was incorrect for this model or something. Um, so they hadn't updated the tooling to reflect something. I don't know if it was the windows or the cab shape or what. But there was some rumbling about that online and I haven't had time to research because I have a full time job. It's like the headlight and ditch lights are a nice golden yellow LED, so it really nailed that color temperature. That looks great. A quick horn check shows that the ditch lights don't flash, which is correct for UP. We'll check pull test here, live with you in person, if I can get hooked. Hooked there. Looks like it's pulling at about three. Three and a quarter, about 50 cars, 45 cars. Not a great bit of contest to two of these will uh, actually give you uh, about a prototypical train. All right, overall, pretty nice model. I think it's uh, a little dated, a little light on pulling, but overall, it looks great. Paints on point. Beautiful golden yellow LEDs. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll leave you with a run by, and I'll see you next time right here on the channel. Take care.